Okay, good morning class. Today we are going to start a new math unit and this unit is called counting numbers from 11 to 20. So today we're going to work on counting numbers that are greater than 10. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to watch a video. What does the picture show? It shows some trucks. How can you tell how many trucks there are? Hmm, I wonder what counting strategy we could use to figure out how many trucks there are. You can count them. Let's count all the trucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Why do you see an eleven? There are eleven trucks in all. Let's show eleven with counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so they had a ten frame and they needed to put eleven in the frame, but they couldn't do it because there wasn't an extra space. So they put the extra counter on the outside of the frame. The 10 frame is full. Where can counter 11 go? It can start a new row. How do the counters match the trucks? Both show 11. How are these ways to show 11 different? One way shows 11 trucks. The other shows 11 counters. What number can you see in the dots? It is the number 11. Why is this number shown? 11 is how many trucks there are. If you trace the dots, what number will you write? You will write the number 11. Where do you start to trace? Now we talk about this in class a lot. When we write numbers, where do we start? Do we start at the top or at the bottom? Let's see. Start at this dot at the top. Trace down. Now trace the other one. Start at this dot at the top. Trace down. Read the number. It says 11. Now let's look at the number 12. How can you tell how many trucks there are? You can count them. Let's count all the trucks. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Why do you see a twelve? There are twelve trucks in all. Let's show twelve with counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Hmm. There's but ten, the ten in the frame. frame is full. Where can counters eleven and twelve? Where can those extra counters go? I wonder. They can start a new row. How do the counters match the trucks? Both show twelve. How are these ways to show 12 different? One way shows 12 trucks. The other shows 12 counters. What number can you see in the dots? It is the number 12. 
Why is this number shown? 12 is how many trucks there are. If you trace the dots, what number will you write? You will write the number 12. Where do you start to trace? Okay, where are we going to start to trace our number 12? Are we going to start at the top or the bottom or in the middle? I wonder. Start at this dot at the top. Trace down. Now trace the two. Start at this dot at the top. Trace down. Read the number. It says 12. You have learned to count, to read, and to write the numbers 11 and 12. Great job, everybody. So today, since we are talking about counting and reading and writing the numbers 11 and 12, we're going to do an interactive workbook page. So when you open your assignment for today, you're going to see a page that looks just like your math workbook from school, except there's going to be a little pencil in this, on the side and a little eraser. And you can actually use the pencil and eraser to write right on the worksheet. If you have any questions, Feel free to contact me.